Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Healing Neutrophil. I'm Dr. Romera and I'm a first year dermatology resident. So I'm here again. I'm so sorry for being MIA and uh, I know I'm not being very active on YouTube. But trust me guys, I'm not getting enough time and I'm trying my best to show my presence here and reach up to you guys whatever is important so um, day before yesterday I read a lot of your DMs and I compiled all of the DMs and uh, thought of making a small video regarding how to choose a speciality and what are the things that you should keep in mind while you go through the cons counseling process of NEET PG 2022 uh, since you know NEET PG results are out and uh, I'm so glad so many of you guys have received, received such an awesome rank and I want to congratulate you guys and uh, all the best and if you are sure about your speciality just go for it you don't need to watch this video this video is only for those people who are a little bit confused and uh, their mind is you know wondering what to what what should be the what should be their choice and what speciality they should choose so I thought I'll burst this confusion and I tried my best to resolve so yes let's get into the video we all know that the, uh, the branches are classified into various groups like clinical, preclinical, preclinical, and we all know that most of you guys wishes to have this clinical branch. Uh, but I think that this orientation is totally wrong because one can do great in every aspect whether it's clinical, whether it's paraclinical, whether it's preclinical. It totally depends what you wanted to be in the future, whether you wanted to go in the you know, teaching line or you wanted to, you know, more patient interaction or you want to deal with the, you know, microscope. So it all depends on you uh, what kind of future you, you know, perceive uh, uh, and what kind of, you know, branch you want. So yes so clinical is again divided into you know surgical branch and medical branch now this is very important that you should categorize what you are interested in or like what is the thing that excites you whether it's scalpel in your hand or whether you wanted to operate a patient and that gives you adrenaline rush or whether you are you are not a scalpel and operation kind of person you just wanted a medical line and you wanted more and more kind of patient interaction so this is the thing that should be kept in mind and this is how you should categorize your now again many people have this broad you know broader uh, future in their mind that they wanted to be a cardiothoracic surgeon and they wanted to go into a uh, respective super speciality field whether they wanted to go become a urologist or cardiologist or you know gastroenterologist so you should go for medicine medicine should be your choice and it demands more and more patient interaction and again after three years of your post post graduation you can go for super speciality and uh, you know get your dream but if you are a person who is who want a limited patient interaction as well as a very healthy lifestyle you can choose various other branches like dermatology ophthalmology psychiatry so although uh, the workload in these branches will be less and you will get a sufficient patient interaction so this is how you should go while choosing a branch you want to go a little dirty and you want to you want to pursue yourself as a surgeon you can go for ophthalmology journal surgery or you can even go for obs gynae um, so this this should be your perspective although many people have this you know pure pressure in their mind uh, about their parents that their parents wanted their child to be a obs gynae or they wanted their child to be a journal surgeon but you should always listen to your heart and uh, the same I will give you my example you know the same situation happened with me uh, while I was preparing for my NIPG I had this very you know I was very clear in my mind that I wanted to pursue dermatology but m there were many people around me who wanted ki, ki just yebali branch le lo and just go for surgery but deep in my mind that I am not a surgery kind of person I just wanted a peaceful healthy lifestyle as well as dermatology was a thing that really excites me and uh, I just wanted to go to the more of cosmet cosmetology thing so I have this thing in my mind but uh, you know when I you know said I attended the counseling and uh, many people you know pressurize me and somewhere they you know dig a hole in my mind that you should go for this branch or you should settle for this branch but what I feel because 
the same situation uh, I have faced, okay, मैंने भी same ही situation face की हुई है तो कहीं ना कहीं mind में आने लगता है कि या मैं कोई गलती तो नहीं कर रही ये वाली ब्रांच चूज करके या मुझे इनके बातें सुननी चाहिए कि अगर ये ऐसा ब्रांच बोल रहे हैं इवन माई पेरेंट्स इफ दे आर आस्किंग मी टू टेक अ पर्टिकुलर ब्रांच शुड आई चूज दैम सो यो आंसर शुड बी बिग बिग नो एंड यू शुड यू नो कैटेगराइज योर सेल्फ वट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन यू आर Are you a person who is who will who would be satisfied if the scalpel in their hand and operating a patient and you know giving that give, you will get that thrill you know washing the hands in the OT and everything? No, I am not that kind of person. I never wanted that. Moreover, am I the person who just wanted to you know get up late at late night attending the emergency? That was a big no. No, I am not that kind of person. That's why I particularly chose dermatology. So uh, another uh, important hype that, hype that people have is that if they are having a particular good rank, so-called good ranks, like if they are in the top ten or top thirty, they have in their mind that yeah, we will choose either we will choose radiology or we will choose dermatology or orthopedics, and they don't listen to what their heart wants. I have seen many many people uh, uh, in my you know friend circle also uh, in journal. Who are doing excel in their field? I have a friend who have two-digit rank, and still you would be surprised to know that that person chose uh, ophthalmology as his career branch, and he is doing so so excel in his field. Why? Just because he listened to his heart. So that should be your approach, and the ranks, and you know the two-digit or whether three-digit ranks should not, you know, uh, should not. You should never deviate uh, from your path. Okay. So that's what I wanted to explain you. Now coming to the terms of earning, okay? People have in their mind that, ha, uh, see, earning should never. You, that should be the last thing that should come in your mind. Many people categorize branch based on the earning. See, earning depends on you. You can excel in any branch, whether it's anatomy. An anatomist can earn if the anatomist is hard working and if the if that anatomist have zeal. To work, I bet on you that that person can even earn much more than a radiologist. And this is my personal experience. Okay, like personal experience, the same I have seen around my circle or around my you know people around me. So the earning should never be the criteria to choose a branch. Earning will come automatically. Earning will come from your own hard work. See, you have come this far. Just remember, you have come this far. You have you know cracked your neat PG and you are here. And now you have to choose a branch. Choosing a branch is marrying to somebody. Okay. Uh, so you can't marry a person. See, if you if. A person is marrying a girl who is very beautiful. Okay, and the appearance the girl is looking very beautiful, and the person got married to that girl. But later, a later after a few months, that patient, that uh, person realizes that okay, the nature of that girl is not good. She is not respecting her parents. She is not behaving properly with him and uh, abusive or whatever, whatever. So, so that particular so what i wanted to uh, you know convey is that the appearance of the thing just because the branch is radiology or the branch is dermatology or branch is obs gyne that should never fascinate you you should go deep to your heart and you should realize what is the branch that give you satisfaction what is the branch uh, that you know excites you that you know that you are passionate about so you should go about in class i just wanted to convey in few lines Is that don't choose a branch just because your parents or your colleagues wanted you to pursue that branch. Don't choose a branch just because the the you know uh, letters fascinate you. Just just like just you wanted to be a cardiothoracic surgeon or neurologist doesn't mean that that branch will you know enhance a zeal within you or you know will uh, you know create a passion. So you should go and you should follow your heart and just don't go by the name the fascinating big names. third don't choose a branch just because the earning expect of that branch is good see earning totally totally depends on yourself whether the uh, person is anatomist or whether the person is a radiologist it doesn't mean that the two of the two person are you no know, not equal maybe the anatomist is earning more and more so the earning should not be your criteria so these are the few things that should be kept in mind while choosing a branch and the most important thing is that you should listen to your heart and none nothing other than that because you yourself knows within you deep within you that what you want categorize accordingly clinical paraclinical preclinical 
clean many people are running behind clinical but doesn't mean that it's any way uh, you know in uh, superior from preclinical or paraclinical i've seen many people doing wonders in preclinical my one of my friend is pathologist and she is doing such an amazing work and i always get inspired by looking at her so these are the few things and uh, i just wanted you to you know don't get depressed and i know many people i have received ma many messages regarding that uh, they have not received uh, they have not got such an awesome rank and bahut saare log mujhe message kar rahe hain i i know i know how it feels uh, when uh, you know you have given your 100% and you have not got your desired uh, result but i just wanted to uh, you know say that you should never never stop yourself and you know continue Uh, continue uh, your hard work and the next exam is just few months away the next exam is i guess the date date has also been released it's on 23rd of january and i guess if you have you know that passion within you or uh, you know that thing within you that you wanted to get that uh, uh, your dream branch or what whatever so you will get that and i know uh, you will come out with flying colors just don't never never give up and i wish you all the best in life and congratulations to all those who have received who have got such an awesome rank and i hope you uh, your counseling went well and goes well and you get whatever you want and whatever seat you want so all the best for that and you can always come and uh, dm me on my you know instagram uh, instagram healing neutrophil i know i'm not very active these days on social medias but i'm trying my best to be active in every field uh, in every you know social media channel whether it's uh, youtube or whether it's instagram and i i promise that i will be regular from now onwards so with this i just end this video and uh, i'll see you very soon very very soon in the next video till then good